I couldn't walk more than a half a block, block maybe, and have to take breaks in between for breathing, you know. If I went with my grandkid, I'd have to stop in the middle, you know. And she says, Grandma, uh, come on, my grandma. <laughs> you know, she didn't understand. Oh, I'm glad this was available, that's for sure, you know, because otherwise there was the, what they call the other. Other valve is not suitable for you, yeah. particularly the, 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 uh, the valve disease, so. Uh, so this was great for me. Right. Basically, there's no really uh, other options, uh, you know, surgeries, uh, as uh, we discussed, is, uh, yeah. you know, led to a high risk. Yeah. So it's not for the open heart surgery. And also, a, because there's a, there's a, the valve is, is a specific pathology, it's more like a leaking valve. So really, other like uh, minimum invasive or transcaster procedure, this valve available, like we, all the valve available to us, they are not really suitable for this valve. Fortunately, we have a, uh, have a new uh, transcaster valve, which is uh, suitable for for this particular uh, aortic valve uh, pathology. And today is the first day yeah. you know, after the procedure. And uh, uh, actually, you know, she, uh, you know, basically we had a chat. We have yeah. a little joke, yeah. even uh, three hours after the procedure yesterday. So, uh, so far, everything, you know, looks great. And she's doing really well. She stayed in hospital for uh, three or four days and went home. And I had a, a phone conversation with, with her just a day ago, and she was so happy with the outcome, and she's doing great. This valve and the procedure hopefully provided that hope to uh, the similar patient uh, who has, you know, leaky valve and had no other option uh, in the future.